Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's Maths on the Move Active Maths Quiz. I'm Andrew from Aspire Sports, and coming up, we have a maths quiz with a little bit of a twist. There's going to be 10 questions for you to answer, but instead of just writing down your answers, what we would like you to do is match your answer to the movement shown on the screen. So for each question, there is going to be three possible answers to choose from. Try to work out the answer before the end of the question, and then get involved in the movement to win yourself a point. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Okay, question one. This question is about sequences. Can you work out which number is missing from the following sequence? So we've got 70, 63, 56, then our missing number, 42, 35. What is the missing number between 56 and 42? Have a few seconds to think about that now. Okay, so here are the possible answers. As soon as you think you know, then show your answer as the movement. So is it 50, 49, or 48? If you think it's 50, then it's star jumps. If you think it's 49, then you should be doing those jab punches. If you think it's 48, then it's pendulum legs movement. Keep going for a few more seconds there. The answer is B, which is 49. Well done if you were doing those jab punches there for that one. The correct answer is in fact 49. Okay, question two, are you ready? This question is about temperature and negative numbers. The temperature was minus three degrees Celsius, but has now risen by 10 degrees. What is the new temperature? Have a few seconds to work that one out before the answers come up on the screen. All right, here are your options. Is it seven degrees? Is it B, five degrees, or is it C, 13 degrees? As soon as you think you know the answer, it's the same again. If it's seven degrees, you should be doing that windmill movement. If you think it's five degrees, you should be running on the spot. And if you think it's 13 degrees, then it's the donkey kicks. Okay, so the answer for this one is seven degrees. And if you were doing the windmill move, then you can give yourself a point for that one. Okay, question three. Question three is about finding the percentage of an amount. So the question is, what is 10% of 81 pounds? Have a quick think about that before the answers come up on the screen. Okay, so our options are, is it A, 81 pence? Is it B, one pounds, 80 pence? Or is it C, eight pounds and 10 pence? If you think it's A, 81 pence, then it's star jumps that you should be doing. If you think it's B, then it's burpees. If you think it's one pounds 80. If, it's, if you think it's C and it's eight pounds 10, then it's high knees for you. Okay, the correct answer for this one was eight pounds 10. So well done if you were doing high knees for that because the answer was C. Question four is a question about equivalent fractions. You need to choose out of the following options, which fraction is equivalent to two thirds. So just before the options come up, have a little think about how you might work out which fraction is or isn't equivalent to two thirds. Okay, so your options are, is it eight ninths, is it seven ninths, or is it six ninths? As soon as you know the answer, then the movements are, if you think it's eight ninths, it's little bounces on the spot. If you think it's seven ninths, then it's a balance for you to hold. And if you think it's six ninths, then it's a spotty dog's movement.
Okay, so the answer for this one was in fact C, which was six ninths. So give yourself another point if you were doing spotty dogs there. Question five. Question five is about money. If I save 10 pence every week for one year, how much money would I have? So for this question, you need to think about how many weeks are in a year. So our possible answers are 52 pounds, 10 pounds or 5 pounds 20. As soon as you think you know the answer, then it's the butterfly move if you think it's 52 pounds, it's back flicks if you think it's 10 pounds and it's the balance there if you think it's 5 pounds 20. Okay, so the answer for that one was £5.20. So if you were holding that balance there, well done. Give yourself another point. Question six is a subtraction question. I think some of you might be able to do this one quite quickly in your heads. So the question is, what is 2006 take away 13? As always, you've got a few seconds to think about this one before the possible answers come up. So the options are 1,992, 1,993 or 1,994. If you think you know the answer for this one, then if you think it's A, 1992, then it's pendulum legs. If you think it's B, 1,993, then it's the bend and shoot movement. And if you think it's C, which is 1,994, then it's a balance for you to hold. Good work if you are practicing your basketball shots there because the correct answer is 1,993. So the correct movement was the bend and shoot. Question seven is a question about units of measure. And for this question, we're talking about chocolate. So if I have 375 grams of chocolate, how many grams do I need to have one kilogram of chocolate? So what would you add on to 375 grams to make one kilogram? So the options are 625 grams, 125 grams or 725 grams. If you think you know the answer, then it's star jumps if you think it's 625 grams, jab punches if you think it's 125 grams, and the pendulum legs if you think it's 725 grams. Well done guys if you were doing star jumps just there because the answer is indeed 625 grams of chocolate. Question eight is a missing number question. So have a look at the screen. What is the missing number in this question to make the number sentence correct? So what number, take away 70, would equal 145? Just have a think before the options come on the screen. Okay, so the options for this one are, if you think it's 205, it's the windmill movement. If you think it's 215, then it's running on the spot. And if you think it's 225, then it's the donkey kicks movement.
Well done, everybody. If you were running on the spot there, then give yourself another point because the answer was B, 215. Okay, the second last question of this quiz, question nine. Question nine is, what is half of 78? As always, a few seconds of thinking time before the answers appear on the screen. Okay, so the options are A, 34, B, 39, or C, 44. It's star jumps if you think it's 34, it's burpees if you think it's 39, and it's high knees if you think it's 44. Half of 78 is 39. So well done if you managed to do a few burpees there. Okay, the final question, question 10. This question is about money. So one packet of stickers costs 25 pence. How many packets of stickers could I buy for five pounds? Have a few moments to think about this one before the answers come on the screen. So the possible answers for this one are 20 packets, 25 packets, or 30 packets. If you think it's 20, you should be doing little bounces on the spot. If you think it's 25 packets, you should be holding that balance. And if you think it's 30 packets, then you should be doing spotty dogs. Well done, everybody. For this final question, the answer was 20, A20. So if you were bouncing on the spot, give yourself one more point. Well done, everybody. Thank you to everybody who joined in today. I hope you guys had fun. If you're keeping count of how many correct answers you got out of 10, then maybe you can try and beat your score in the next Maths on the Move Active Maths quiz. around us is changing. You're faced with the new challenge of homeschooling your children. For some, this is a worrying prospect, and for those who are expected to work from home, it's a near impossible task. We worry that our children will fall behind, especially in the core subject areas of English and Maths. Adding variety to your daily routine, whilst keeping your children motivated to learn and remembering to stay active, can be really difficult. The Mighty Maths home learning platform has been developed to help you right now. It keeps your children motivated, boosts confidence and improves attainment in the fundamentals of maths through fun and frequent practice. Using the concept of active learning, Mighty Maths combines fun, on-demand videos to keep your children active with short sets of varied maths arithmetic challenges. Written by teachers and used by primary schools nationwide, Mighty Maths has been developed in line with the national curriculum, so you can rest assured that the questions your children are tackling are appropriate for their age. And using it is really straightforward. There's no need for any printing. Simply select your video, work out with Tom, and then tackle the maths questions, all on any device. The answers are waiting to be revealed, meaning your children can evaluate their progress straight away. We want to help as many households as possible during this period, so we've reduced the price from £60 to just £5 until the 22nd of May. This gives you access to a library of workout videos and maths challenges for your child to tackle. And to keep things fresh, content is updated every 20 days. And like you, we want to support our NHS heroes however we can, which is why £1 of every Mighty Maths purchase will be donated to the NHS. To start using Mighty Maths in your daily homeschool routine, sign up today.